whenever you do strabismus surgery, what you're doing is you're, you're changing the length of the muscle and you're hopefully, the surgeon is hopefully uh, attempting to uh, align the eyes so they look straight. We would call that a cosmetic cure. But the issue that I've seen over and over again with strabismus surgery is that it works temporarily, but because the brain is not part of the process, because it's the brain that directs the eye muscles, it controls the eye muscles, what ends up happening is it creates a confusion in a person because although the muscle is now changing the eye so it looks straight, the brain is still functioning as though the eye is crossing because it's the brain that is really the traffic director in controlling the eyes. So at best, the success rate is maybe 30%. And if you, you know, were to poll everybody who's had strabismus surgery, you would see that there's a high percentage that actually do multiple, have to do multiple surgeries. And even then, you're just getting mostly a cosmetic fix. So it's, it's one of the eye surgeries that I stay away from. You know, I've been at this work for 35 years, and I've worked with a lot of people, children, adults, who what we call are post-surgical strabismics, meaning they've had the surgery. And I can say every one of them that I have worked with or know have some level of very inherent confusion of second guessing their eyes and vision, and it's because of the surgery. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Please send your comments to me. I'd love to hear from you.